The Otsem Pre-Military Torah Academy was established in 1992 in the community of Atzmona in Gush Katif. Its mission is to prepare young religious Zionist men for a full and meaningful army service. The founder and head of the academy to this day is Harav Rafi Peretz. Today, Harav Peretz is a lieutenant colonel in the IDF Air Reserves, following many years of active service as a pilot in the Israeli Air Force. His decision to establish a pre-military Torah academy was arrived at during his years of army service, when he observed up close the special challenges facing young religious men within the military framework. When you experience the army and you see around you the many religious boys who stop being religious, you realize that the preparation they receive is inadequate. Harav Peretz's vision of establishing a Beit Midrash for religious young men prior to army induction finally came to fruition 15 years ago in the community of Atzmona in Gush Katif. The first class had only 25 students, but over the years the academy has grown to be one of the most important and influential institutions in the religious Zionist world. Today 200 new students are enrolled each year. The core of the Academy's program is to nurture an Israeli Zionistic character that draws its strength from Judaism and Torah. All of this is done in small steps within a very, very personal relationship. For every 12 to 14 students, there's a full-time faculty member. And with these students, he has many, many sessions on general issues, as well as on a personal level. The educational program also includes physical and mental preparation for army service. Students undergo fitness training, navigational exercises, and meetings with army and defense personnel. Since its establishment, over 1,000 students have graduated, serving as officers and highly regarded combat soldiers throughout the IDF. We see how our graduates have contributed so significantly, so decisively. It is an enormous privilege and a responsibility to carry out this mission and to understand that it's all rooted in Torah. Life in the Gush Katif region of the Gaza Strip came at a bloody price. In March 2002, just days before Pesach, a Palestinian terrorist infiltrated the academy, threw hand grenades, and sprayed gunfire at the boys as they learned in the Beit Midrash. Five students were murdered in the attack. Another 24 students and staff were injured. The students and rabbis struggled with how to move forward despite the tragic events. My feeling was that we had to pick up the pieces and I had no idea where we would get the strength to do it, to get back on our feet, the funerals, Shiva in so many homes, wonderful boys, pain that won't go away to this day. In the Academy's memorial room, alongside the pictures of the five victims of the terror attack, are displayed another 11 portraits of graduates who were killed in the line of duty in defense of their homeland. May their memories be blessed. In August 2005, the Israeli government carried out its disengagement plan from the Gaza Strip. Thousands of Jews were displaced from their homes in Gush Katif. Araf Peretz and his students found themselves in the midst of an unimaginable dilemma. <laughs> We will never leave this place willingly. We won't leave willingly. On one hand stood the mitzvah of settling the land of Israel and the glorious Zionist institution they had built. On the other hand stood Tzahal, the Israel Defense Force they loved and honored. When is it against our will? when, God forbid, one of my arms must battle my other arm. We in this Beit Midrash, when it comes to our brothers, our bodies, and our flesh, we take one step back. I'm
כעת ומשאול ההווה. כילד ההולך לו לאיבוד, כפות ידיים מושטות מבקשות את העזרה להמשיך איתך את המסע. ובצדדים הפחים כאילו איבדו את זהותם, מחפשים עוד קרן אור שתעזור. עוד לגימה קטנה של מים ממעייני החוכמה, תביא להם את התקווה. ארים ראשי, אסע עיניי אל הערים במרחקים, וקולי יישמע כזעקה, כתפילת האדם, וליבי יקרא, מאין יבוא עזרי. We were in the period of shadows. The entire state of Israel was in a period of shadows. Of course, so we may not let these shadows cloud our faith in the great lights that await us. Despite the pain and traumatic loss of their home and the disengagement, Hawav Peretz decided to continue to fulfill the Zionist dream and to re-establish the home anew. The site chosen is the Chalutza Dunes region, a desolate area located in the northern Negev, which until now has never been settled by Jews. The vision of Chalutza says, we go on. The government of Israel tells us this is the number one strategic site that needs to be settled. From here, the next 30 miles to the south is absolutely empty. This is the root of drug and weapon smugglers right here. Establishing ourselves here will close off what is essentially a border area. We believe that we can bring businessmen, industry, high-tech, desert tourism. This entire area, with God's help, We'll come here in a few years and it'll all be green. We sing in our anthem, our hope is not lost. Our hope of 2,000 years to be a free nation in our land. We say it, we believe in it too.